Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Roy, and I'm back with another video. Man, I was just sitting around chilling, and I was thinking, you know what? I've been keeping y'all out of the loop on um, on the bed. Well, I made a couple of changes to it, and I just realized that I hadn't updated you guys on it or let you guys know what I have going with it. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing today. Let you guys know what I what changes I've made to the vet. And don't get excited, it's not a turbo, uh, it's not, it's not no supercharger or nothing like that. Um, although I love those things and I do plan on doing it in the future, I'm, I'm really at a point where I'm just enjoying the car, man. I, I like to get in and cruise on the weekend or me and my wife hit a couple back rows and just enjoy it so one thing that i learned over the years is that a lot of times when you're buying aftermarket parts for horsepower you're trading horsepower for rela you're trading reliability for horsepower and i'm not there with the vet i think i don't know if i ever be there with it really i mean If I want to build a drag car or something, just I'll just go buy something, a hard top car that like a Camaro or something that I don't, I wouldn't mind just hauling out for speed. You know, I, like I said, I do plan on doing things like that to this car, but I'm not in a rush to do it. And, I, and when I do do it, I want to get the most reliable setup that I can possibly get. I'm not I'm not caring about being the fastest at all. So well anyway with that being said, you know I had a package to come in today. So we'll check that out. Alright guys I drug this package that I had to come in that I had come in out on the ground and I, I started opening it already. I had it in a place where you guys can see what I've done to the car, but I wanted to show you this first. So I moved it. Sue me. Give me a second. All right. I'm not doing good so far, but. Get you there in a minute. Okay. All right, got a little hardware falling. But yeah, let me finish opening this and get back with you guys. Zero one style front splitter. Now, when when I had this car for a while, I was like, I like the front of the car. But the back is just, you know, once you see a C6 or other cars with spoilers on them, you be like, man, that back is like naked on this car. So I did add the duck bills spoiler on it, and it made me love the rear end of the car. So I was like, everything looked great, but when I, I, I've noticed a few times, you know how we are, us car guys, when we're proud of what we drive or are or, or you really into cars, when you're when you get out of your vehicle and you're walking towards a store or anything, you got to look back at it. And you know, once I look back at it, the front end just it just went from looking good to me to being like, oh, I need something else. Because I hate seeing the air dams in the bottom of the car. So and plus my air dams are kinda out of whack. You got cracks in them and all that. So I said I need a splitter. Then I went back and forth on what splitter I would get. Everybody was getting a zero one style splitter. And I like to be different. But at the same time, you know, I look at the other splitters, which I don't I don't mind spending money. Oh. Which 
which I don't mind spending money, but no, I'm not rich. I'm just a little irresponsible. So with that being said, price weighed in on what splitter that I got because I, I know guys with vets that got splitters on them and most of them are cracked and busted up and they were um, carbon, fiber, carbon fiber splitters. And you know, you pay four or 500 and up for a piece of carbon fiber or some plastic and you know, two days later you park in the wrong place and it's cracked, you know, that kind of hurt. So with this one, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's not that expensive. So, you know, even if it does crack, it wouldn't bother me as much. You know, I could buy at least two of these, two or three of these for the price of one of the other ones that I had in mind. So I'm gonna go with this. It's got a good look and yeah. I'm gonna put this thing on, man, see how it turn out. Instead of me trying to explain, man, I'm gonna try to, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just show you guys some of the changes that I've made to the car. Just put in a couple clips of some of the changes that I made to the car and, you know, get you guys up to, up to date. So yeah, check that out. I added some Verde wheels on the car. Now, before I let you guys see the tire size and all that, I just want you to check out Stance. I think that looks great on a vet, man. And it kind of give you a clue of what I got going on right now. Yeah, I think those wheels look good on the car. I've curved them up pretty good, pretty quickly. I don't know how I done that. I guess because the tire is so small, I don't know. But anyway. This is what I got going on for the day. I've already cut one side. I, I hadn't bolted it down yet. I'll grab it in a minute. Get it to me straight, man. What y'all think? Put the Z06 vents on the rear. I think it looked pretty good. It's drawing my eyes too much right now, but after a few days, it'll blend in, and I think it's gonna work real good with those wheels in this car. Try to get a rolling clip later on. I'm gonna do a little bit more cutting, working and modifying, and I'll get back with you guys later. All right, on the other side, I took a marker and traced all the way around where I want to cut, but this time on this side, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a rough cut. The hole don't have to be perfect. And and with this paper being so flimsy, my holes didn't line up like they should anyway. So I'm just going to do that pretty much by eye. I know it'll be close to where those dots are, but it won't be on the money anyway. So I won't even waste time doing it like I did the other side.
right, boy. See how the, uh, the dots aren't lined up with the boats? That's why I didn't even try to go with that pattern. Get a drill and try to eyeball it. Make me a little slot everywhere it's touching it. Filthy, I got me a new cameraman. Hey, I think it turned out pretty good though. Get the, all that, get that tape off, get our template off. 
then we gotta take those back wheels off and the inner fenders and we'll get get it bolted up from the back side get everything cleaned up and we're done we have the z06 vents in stay tuned all right as you guys can see i've got the back wheel off i'm about to take the um in the fender wheel out. It's held on about five, five of these seven millimeter screws. One, two, three, four, and five somewhere up there. So I'm gonna get these out so I can get the vent all buttoned up. Well, got one side down. One more side to go. This time you guys see it. We have her all wrapped up and all cleaned up. This ain't gonna get it, but she's looking good right now. I like the fitment with the wheels. I didn't want it with the factory wheel because I think it poked too much, but those wheels look pretty good. Knock out this other side. All right, guys, I got it all wrapped up. Knocking a little of the dust off. I'm really giving it no good wash or nothing, but just knocking a little of the dust off. And uh, that's gonna do it for the day. Let me check, let y'all check it out. Alright guys, we got the um, front fit, uh, front splitter installed, and here's what it looks like. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, and for the changes that I've made to the car lately, that I hadn't been really keeping you guys updated on, it is now the front splitter, you know, uh, 22 inch wheels, and I also added the Z06 uh, rear brake duct vents. So I do like that on the uh, on the Z06 models. Uh, a lot of people on well, not a lot of people, but some people on the some of the Corvette groups on Facebook. They'll say, "Oh, you got a base model uh, Corvette and." I got this one is because this is the one I like more. It's not because I couldn't get the Z06 because the Z06 is really not like it's just a crazy expensive car or nothing like that. So, but idiots will be idiots. I got the C5 and base model as they call it because I like the Targo top. The Z06 don't have the removable roof. So to me, that's that's not getting it. I mean, that's, that's a negative, if anything. It doesn't have that much more horsepower to, to just be, you know, crazy faster. For the upgrades that, I've had, that I have on my car, I'm sure that I can outrun a Z06, a stock Z06 anyway. So, that big being said, I have what I want. It's not crazy fast. I don't have a lot of crazy mods on the car because the more you mod them for speed, the less reliable they become. You follow your favorite YouTuber who drive their cars a lot with all those different mods. It's like every time you turn around, something is broke. They're repairing this, they're repairing that. Me, on the other hand, I get in mine and go. No issue. Every now and then, I put my other wheels on. 
with my drag radios on it and I go out and play with a couple of my buddies and you know or I like to try out newer model cars such as the scat pats and the, um ss camaros and stuff like that i'll go run them just to see how this 20 year old car does against them now if i wanted to mod it and make it a lot faster it wouldn't be no issue the car is light as a feather it's, and it's also very aerodynamic so it doesn't take much to make these cars crazy fast but I'm comfortable with what I have right now, and I'm not the type of person to do things to please please crowds. You know, I do what I want to do because I want to do it, and that's it. As far as what I'm into, you know, I like making a car look the way I want it to look. And don't get me wrong, my car is under construction. It's far from where I want it to be, but it's good enough good enough for right now for what I'm doing take the tops out hit a few back roads and that's about all I do you know I go to car meets I go to uh, car shows just to see what other people come up with and what's their ideas and what their bills look like you know I might be inspired by someone else's bill so we all should inspire each other in one way or another, but ain't nobody going to tell me how I should and shouldn't do my car. <laughs> nah, that's just not going to happen, man. You know, I think we all have our own, our own vision for our vehicle. And if you allow somebody else to tell you how to spend your money or tell you how to make your vehicle look or anything else that you own, that you purchased on your own, then I think you're a little loopy, man. You know, I'm sorry to say it. I'm not trying to talk down on nobody, but that's just, that's just plain crazy to me. You know, I don't, I didn't buy this car because somebody wanted me to. I bought it because I wanted it. So therefore, whatever I wanted it to look like, that's what it's gonna look like. That don't make you happy. Sorry for you, brother. No, I'm here. I, I only post things to um, inspire, as other people inspire me when I see, you know, like I said before, their bills and what they have in mind, or what their vision is. So, I just all try to respect each other's vision, man. And, It'll be what it is. You think my car is ugly? You think it's slow? It's not going to make my gas cheaper. It's not going to make my insurance rate go down. And it's not going to benefit me or hurt me in, in any way. So, you wasting your breath, brother. But yeah, guys, I've entertained enough stupidity for one video. And it's really not what the video is about. Just wanted to upgrade you, update you guys on a few little changes that I made to the um, vet and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I figured I might as well give y'all a quick night shot of the old gal. LED. Everything gotta rep my logo. Those are just I have them wired up as courtesy lights. There you go. Now tell them to like, comment, like. and subscribe. Like, comment, comment, subscribe. True fire. <laughs> Man, got that for one more five. <laughs>